Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGauges.com Today I'm showing you my recently released uh, Jet Airliner Navigation Gauge It's similar to my other Jet Nav Gauge but it's slightly wider angle, you can see the whole of the compass dial So let's start off with the dials The right dial, yellow, is the CRS So we can turn the CRS needle and the right, sorry, left dial, red is the heading, and this moves the heading bug. So this is the autopilot heading. And that's basically those two dials. So the S keys, we, we're not using one, two, three, or four, but five will toggle between two different compass graphics. So you have a, an alternate selection um, personal preference, whichever you prefer. Um, and S6 toggles the blue and black background colors for my jet gauges. Now this will toggle uh, to black for all my jet nav gauges and back to blue again for all the gauges. So all my jet nav gauges are interlinked and if you change the background color on one, all the others change at the same time as well. Okay, so now let's um, activate the ILS. Let's tune in a frequency. And you can now see the ILS kicks in. You have your glide slope indicator. Um, you've also got another glide slope indicator on the right here as well. And you've got your ILS needle as well here. You've also got the uh, VOR indicator of the position and also the ADF. Now by default the ADF always shows at 90 degrees when not um, tuned in, but let me just tune the ADF in very quickly. Three, three, eight, and you should see the ADF needle move. Okay, so the ADF is now directly behind me, so that's tuned in as well. So you've got your navigational pointers, your CRS, and your heading gauges all in one, as well as your ILS as well. Okay, so I hope you found that useful. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Please come back and check out our other videos too. Thanks, bye for now.